Janet Andra here. Welcome to Average Physics Academy. Before we start, we'd like to recommend our Average Physics books for high school, where you can find more explanations and solve applications and the problems. In this video, we are going to calculate the maximum current carried by a coil in a series RL circuit fed by a constant voltage. Determine the differential equation that governs the variation of the current I. Write the solution of the differential equation, draw the graph of the current growth, and calculate the average and the instantaneous magnetic powers of the coil. The adjacent circuit includes an ideal battery of electromotive force 20 volts, a coil of inductance 100 millihenries, and internal resistance 5 ohms, a resistor of resistance 15 ohms, and a switch and connecting wires. The switch is closed at T0 equals 0. Question number 1. Calculate the current I am carried by the coil in the steady state. When we close the switch, the current increases from 0 to its maximum value, I am. When the current becomes maximum, the steady state is attained. The expression of the current in the steady state is given by E over capital R plus small r. Capital R plus small r is the equivalent resistance of the circuit. E is equal to 20 volts, capital R is 15 ohms, small r is 5 ohms, and the current in the steady state is 1 ampere. Question number 2. Determine the differential equation that governs the variation of the current I. We will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law and we will follow the positive sense. So we have UAC is equal to UAB plus UBC. UAC is the voltage across the ideal battery. It is equal to E. UAB is the voltage across the coil. We follow the positive sense, so UAB is IR plus LDI by DT. Similarly, UBC is equal to plus RI. Rearrange. LDI by DT plus I into capital R plus small r is equal to E. This is the first order differential equation that governs the variation of the current during its growth. Part 3. The solution of the obtained differential equation is I equal M into 1 minus E to the power minus alpha T, where alpha and M are non-zero constants. Determine the expressions of alpha and m in terms of L small r capital R and E, and then write the solution in terms of E R R L and T. To determine the expressions of alpha and m, we have three steps. First step, we differentiate i with respect to time. Second step, we substitute i and di by dt in the differential equation. And the third step, we solve the equation. i is equal to m into 1 minus e to the power minus alpha t. Expand, then I becomes M minus M e to the power minus alpha T. Now we have to differentiate I with respect to time. M is constant, so its derivative with respect to time becomes zero. Minus M remains the same since it is multiplied by a variable term. And the derivative of e to the power minus alpha T is equal to minus alpha e to the power minus alpha T. Therefore, di by dt is equal to alpha m e to the power minus alpha t. This is the obtained differential equation. Now, substitute di by dt and i in this equation. Alpha m e to the power minus alpha t is equal to di by dt. m minus m e to the power minus alpha t is equal to i. So, we get this equation. Now, expand this term or multiply r plus r into m minus m e to the power minus alpha t, we get this new equation. We observe that m e to the power minus alpha t is common on these two terms. So take m e to the power minus alpha t as a common factor. It becomes as m e to the power minus alpha t into l alpha minus r minus small r plus m into r plus r equal to E. In this equation, we observe that its right side is constant. So the left side of this equation must be constant, but M into R plus R is constant. So the first term 
is only constant if L alpha minus R minus small r is equal to zero because M e to the power minus alpha t is variable, then M into R plus R should be equal to E. Therefore, M is equal to E over R plus R. Now we have determined the expression of M. Now, to determine the expression of alpha, we use this equation. L alpha minus capital R minus small r is equal to zero. Rearrange, therefore, alpha is equal to R plus R over capital L. I is equal to M into one minus E to the power minus alpha T. Replace M and alpha by their values. E over capital R plus R is equal to M. R plus R over L is equal to alpha. Therefore, I is equal to E over R plus R into one minus E to the power minus R plus R over L times T. Part four, calculate the time constant tau of the circuit. We know that the time constant tau of this circuit is given by this formula. Tau is equal to L over R plus R. Now replace each physical quantity by each value. L is equal to 100 millihenry, which is equivalent to 0.1 henry. Capital R is equal to 15 ohms and small r is equal to 5 ohms. Therefore, tau is equal to 5 times 10 to the power minus 3 seconds, which is equivalent into 5 milliseconds. Focus, please. This is important. Question number five. Roughly draw the graph that represents i as a function of time and show on the graph the tangent to the curve i equal f of t at t zero equals zero. To draw the curve of i versus t, we need to know the value of the current at some particular instance. Let's start with t zero equals zero. At t zero equals zero, the current is equal to zero. Also, at t equal tau, which is equal to 5 milliseconds, the current is equal to 0 0.63 IM, which is equal to 0 0.63 amperes, because the maximum value of the current is 1 ampere. Also, at t equal 5 tau, which is equal to 25 milliseconds, the current is approximately equal to the maximum value, which is equal to 1 ampere. Now, this is the curve that represents i as a function of time. So, here we have 1 tau, 5 milliseconds, and at t equal 1 tau, the current is approximately equal to 0 0.63 amperes. This is 2 tau, 3 tau, 4 tau, and 5 tau. At t equal 5 tau, the current is approximately equal to 1 ampere. Now we want to draw that tangent to the curve at t0 equal 0. We know that the tangent to the curve at t0 equal 0 meets the asymptote of equation i equal i m equal 1 ampere at a point of abscessa tau. So this is the asymptote, okay? Now we want to draw the tangent this tangent must, must cut this asymptote at this point because it has an abscessa of 5 milliseconds, which is equal to tau. So this is the tangent to the curve at t0 equal 0. Part 6. Determine the magnetic energy stored in the coil during the time interval 0 2.5 tau. The magnetic energy stored in the coil is given by the formula W equal half L I squared. L is given. So to determine this energy, we have to determine the value of the current at T equal 2.5 tau. I is equal to I M into 1 minus E to the power minus T over tau. So at T equal 2.5 tau, replace T by this value. So I equal I M into 1 minus E to the power minus 2.5 tau over tau. But I M is equal to 1. Therefore, the current at T equal 2.5 tau is equal to 0 0.918 amperes. Now, using this formula, W equal 1 half Li squared, replace L by 0 0.1 Henry and I by 0 0.918.
So the magnetic energy stored in the coil at t equal 2.5 tau is equal to 0 0.05 joules. Part 7. Deduce the average magnetic power consumed by the coil during the time interval 0 2.5 tau. The average power is given by this formula. P average is equal to W consumed over delta T. W consumed is equal to W and delta T is equal to 2.5 tau. Now replace W and tau by their values. W is equal to 0 0.05 joules and tau is equal to 5 times 10 to the power minus 3 seconds. Therefore, the average power or the average magnetic power consumed by the coil is equal to 4 what? Question number eight. Determine the instantaneous magnetic power consumed by the coil at t equal 2.5 tau. The instantaneous power is the power at a given instant. The instantaneous magnetic power stored in a coil is given by this expression, LIDI by dt. The instantaneous magnetic power stored in a coil is exp explained in details in a video in this channel. You can watch it. Now, to determine the instantaneous power at 2.5 tau, we need the value of i and the value of di by dt at this instant. Let's start with the value of i. In the previous slide, we found that the value of the current at t equal 2.5 tau is equal to 0.918 amperes. Now, we need di by dt at this instant. First, the expression of the current in this problem is given by I m into 1 minus e to the power minus t over tau. This is going to be I m minus I m e to the power minus t over tau. Now we need to differentiate this expression with respect to time. Let me remind you with the, ex with the derivative of the exponential function. Y is a function of time. Y is equal to a times e to the power u. A is constant and U is a function of time. So Y prime or dy by dt is equal to A U prime e to the power U. So here minus I M is A and minus T over tau is U. Now let's differentiate the expression with respect to time. Let's start with I M. I M is constant. So its derivative with respect to time is zero. And the derivative of minus i m e to the power minus t over tau is minus i m into minus one over tau e to the power minus t over tau. Take into account that minus t minus one over tau is equal to u prime. This is going to be i m over tau times e to the power minus t over tau. Now we are ready to calculate di by dt at t equal 2.5 tau. So replace t in this expression by 2.5 tau. This is going to be e to the power minus 2.5 because tau and tau cancel out. Now the current i m is equal to 1 ampere and tau is equal to 5 times 10 to the power minus 3 seconds and the answer is 16.42 amperes per second. Now let's calculate the instantaneous power at t equal 2.5 tau. So p instantaneous is equal to l which is equal to 0 0.1 Henry's and the current at this instant is 0 0.918 amperes and di by dt at this instant is 16.42 amperes per second and the answer is 1.51 watts. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and share.